say we're joined now by the newly elected leader, Richard Brain. Uh, thanks very much for talking to us this evening and congratulations on your appointment. I believe you are the fifth UKIP leader to take the lead since Nigel Farage stood down. How are you going to change things for UKIP? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unify the party. Uh, and don't forget that Brexit still hasn't been delivered. We're still waiting for it. The people voted for it nearly three year, uh, more than three years ago. And uh, it's time this government uh, actually delivered it. So we've got fingers crossed for October. But of course, don't forget that even if Boris Johnson does deliver it, the people that are trying to stop Brexit will continue. They'll keep on campaigning. And I've no doubt that they'll try to take us back into the European Union as soon as they can. So UKIP needs to stand up for what we have campaigned for for 27 years and make sure that it gets delivered. And what's more, make sure that it doesn't get undone by, uh, the, frankly, our Remainer Parliament that thinks it has the power to override the will of the British people. You have swung to the far right in recent days. Your predecessor, Gerard Batten, brought the party into disrepute. The NEC fell out with him. I believe, though, you were put forward for the position by him and promised to make him your deputy. Is that going to be the case? Uh, well, let me first say that UKIP is absolutely not far right. Uh, that's uh, a myth perpetuated by the press. It's, uh, frankly, an insult to working class people. As uh, an advisor, and, 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 weren't you? Uh, uh, and their concerns. So UKIP isn't far right. I, my view well, is that Well, you're using Tommy Robinson as an advisor recently. He's now in prison, of course, but people associate Tommy Robinson with the far right, don't they? Well, they may do, but you, Tommy Robinson has never been a UKIP member and he's actually banned from joining UKIP. He could join the Tories or he could join Labour, but he can't join UKIP. So uh, it's quite wrong to say that he's uh, associated with UKIP in that sense. But don't forget that Tommy Robinson has brought attention to... Ah. We seem to have lost the connection there with Mr Brain, the new leader of UKIP. Let's see if we can re-establish that connection. In the meantime, I'll bring... Well, I'm delighted to say that we've managed to re-establish the line with the brand new leader of UKIP, Richard Brain. Um, thank you very much for bearing with us, Richard. Um, just thank before you. we lost contact with you there, we were just discussing uh, where you see yourself on the kind of political spectrum. A lot of people were saying that you'd move to the far right with sort of anti-Islam stance and taking advice from Tommy Robinson. But I really wanted to pin you down on the point about Jared Batten, who himself was forbidden from taking part in this leadership contest because he had brought the party into disrepute. He put you forward for this position, didn't he? Are you going to make him your deputy? Uh, I have invited him to be my deputy, and he has said yes, uh, so I hope so. But uh, don't forget that UKIP has an elected NEC, uh, unlike uh, certain other parties. And so the NEC will uh, make that decision uh, in, in good time. Uh, so they will decide ultimately uh, whether that uh, appointment takes place. So will it be a fresh start for UKIP then if you're going to have Gerard Batten at your right hand and given the particular direction that the party had been going in? Uh, well, I think it will be a fresh start. I'm not Gerard Batten. We don't agree on everything. Uh, we agree on many things. But, uh, uh, you know, I am the leader now, duly elected today, and uh, I will do the job to the best of my ability to serve the members of UKIP who voted for me and to uh, actually get the message of our manifesto out there. We have a fantastic manifesto. It's, it's much better than the manifestos of the other parties. Uh, and I recommend people go and read it and understand what UKIP's really about, because unfortunately the press actually doesn't give us a fair hearing uh, and continually labels us far right when we're not far right at all. OK, but, I mean, are you actually cutting through to the electorate? I mean, in the recent by-election in Brecon and Radnorshire, you came in behind the uh, monster raving loony party. Well, UKIP actually has never done particularly well in that constituency. Uh, and also, you have to remember that in the years before 2010, you know, UKIP uh, bumbled along on a percent or two or a few percent, but we were about to unleash an extraordinary revolution on the world. Why? Because we tell the truth about things that voters do care about. So don't write UKIP off. We've got a, a proud future ahead of us as well as a proud future behind us. Uh, and we've got fantastic policies and we're going to be getting them out there and people are going to pay attention to them and we're going to climb up the polls and do well in the future. I'm absolutely certain of it. Richard Brain, brand new leader of UKIP, thanks very much. Thank you very much.